A really important study from the Italian group comparing a randomized study of frontline in, in chronic phase CML of nilotinib at the standard frontline dose of 300 milligrams twice daily compared to a, uh, an imatinib uh, stroke nilotinib approach where nilotinib is uh, the drug that people will receive if they don't achieve an optimum response on imatinib. So very much in line with the original Australian study of uh, Title II uh, where patients switched uh, if they didn't achieve optimal response at 3, 6, 12 or, uh, or subsequently. Um, and but this, this study, by contrast, is a randomized study. And we're not seeing the full results of the study yet. This is an interim analysis. But it does show that, at least in terms of achieving a deep molecular response at two years, there is a significant advantage to starting with nilotinib rather than starting with imatinib and switching those patients who don't achieve good responses. So that's an important message, which we hadn't had before. Um, so if you're really focused on achieving deep response with a, with a long-term plan for tre treatment-free remission, your approach is better to go with nilotinib or another second generation drug up front rather than just planning to go through a sequential intensification as we, um, as we uh, initially trialled in, in the title study.